Hi guys, it's Sandeep from Phone Arena and today we are going to be doing a teardown of the Li Eco Li Max smartphone. The Li Max is a flagship smartphone with an all metal body, USB Type C support, 6.33 inch QHD display as well as a fingerprint sensor. First, let us switch off the phone and remove the SIM card slot in order to start the teardown. Let's heat up the display in order to remove it. Since this is a unibody metallic phone, we need to remove the display at front in order to get to the internal. The glue was pretty strong so it took us about 20 minutes to remove the display. Once the glue loosens up, we used a plastic prying tool to separate the display from the phone. The display is connected to the phone body with two ribbon cables, so let's go ahead and remove them now. We have a shielding below the display. A metal shield is held in place by screws. Let's remove them all now. Once the screws are removed, the shielding comes off easily. There is a small ribbon cable connecting the proximity sensor in the shield to the main logic board. Let's go ahead and remove that now. The shielding also has the proximity sensor at the top as well as the loudspeaker at the bottom. To maintain the thickness, Li TV have optimized thermal pads instead of metal shielding. Let's remove the thermal pads and separate the cameras from the logic board. The back camera is quite thick in size because of the optical image stabilization. It has a 21 megapixel camera with Sony IMX230 sensor and f2.0 aperture. The front camera is a 4 megapixel Omnivision OV46 AA sensor with a wide angle lens. To remove the logic board from the phone body, we need to remove the volume rocker assembly as well as the battery connection. Once all the ribbon cables and screws are out of the way, we can separate the board easily. At the front of the logic board, we have the 3.5mm audio jack, IR blaster, silicon image chip which takes care of wireless HD streaming and a Samsung 64GB internal memory chip. Near the dual SIM slots, we have the SK Hynix 4GB LPDDR4 RAM which also holds the octa-core Snapdragon 810 64-bit processor and Qualcomm PM8994 power management chip. We also have the NXP47803 NFC controller above it. Coming to the other side of the logic board, we have the Elite TV HQ7A audio chip, a Qualcomm WTR3925 transceiver and a Qualcomm Vive 802.11 AC chip. Let's remove the battery now. The battery is rated at 3400 mAh and in the metallic body, we have the O-film fingerprint sensor, dual LED flash and vibrator. At the bottom, we have the USB Type-C slot as well as the primary microphone. So that's it for the teardown guys, if you like this video do hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.